Welcome ladies and gentlemen to uh, another Bentley David Tudors video. Today we'll be talking about financial maths at a year 9 level. This video has been quite widely requested so hopefully it's found useful by at least some of you. Um, before I begin, I just want to let you know that all, all the maths videos will be shorter because I think there's about 9 or 10 to make. Um, so hopefully they're also a bit more entertaining, um, unlike Jeremy's have been in the past. So I think that's number one. I'll just keep a mental count because I've realised I've missed a few Jeremy Rose counters in the last two videos which I included them in. Um, also, some of you may have noticed that there's a bit of a change of scenery in one of my videos. Um, I'm actually stuck at Jeremy's house, so if um, any of you know where he live, uh, you can please send help because I'm probably in a bit of immediate danger. But yeah. Hey, Luke, hey, uh, hey Jeremy. Oh, hey, hey, Luke. What are you? Hey. What are you? What are you? Uh, just, just making the financial you're just, video. You're yeah. Just, you're just making. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's good. You, you're all fine. Yeah, yeah. Just getting into yeah, it. Yeah, you are. Okay, yeah. that's great. All right. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Have fun. Have yeah. Fun. Yeah. It's just, yeah just getting into it. Now. Okay. Yeah, that's all good. Thanks, Jeremy. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, so all the questions and examples are coming from the Australian Signpost Mathematics Book 9, 4 Classes 5.1 to 5.3. Um, so, yeah, it's a great textbook and, you know, that's really good for studying or just using in class. Um, okay, so I'll get into it. Firstly, we'll do a few definitions to start about earning money. So, firstly, a wage is a per hour payment and it's usually used for casual or part time work. Uh, next there is a salary, which is a fixed annual payment, or you might see in a test up P.A, which is per annum. Um, and then next you need to assume that a fixed year is 52 weeks, and one month is not four weeks, it's one over 12 of a year. So uh, I actually got that wrong in the first test this year as well. It's a common mistake, so just make sure you keep an eye out for that if it's in a test. Uh, and then there's also a commission, which is a fixed retainer, and it's normally used for if you're a car salesman or something where you're selling individual products, uh, and it's a percentage of that sale. So for this question, uh, we've got a question from the textbook. It is, a woman works for a wage of $16.80 per hour. How much will she earn in a week in which she works, firstly, 40 hours of normal time, and then secondly, 40 hours of normal time, and five hours of overtime if overtime is paid at 1.5 times the normal rate of pay. So for the first one, it's quite simple. All you need to do is 40, because that's the number of hours she's worked in the week, times 16.80, which is the wage she earns per hour. So there the answer is $672. For the second one, you need to, you can use the uh, answer from the first one, so 672, and then add five hours of 16.80, because uh, that's how much she's earning per hour, times 1.5 because that is the increase of pay in overtime. Uh, so then once you add those together, it is $798. All right, the next thing is about um, best buy questions. So here, uh, all you need to do is make sure that all the options that are given to you have the same unit. So it's normally easier to divide them by the number there are and try and get it down to one. So the first example is fiberglass resin comes in the following sizes. One kilogram for $9.80, 5 kilograms for $26.80 and 21 kilograms for $59.60. So what is the best value for money? So you, I would just list them all and then look at how much you need to divide them by. So we've got one for 980. So the simplest way is to just divide the other two by the amount of kilos there are. So the five kilos for 26.80, divide 26.80 uh, by five. So then you get the unitary, like the single uh, kilo for that price, which is $5.36. And then for the 21 kilos, you do the same, and that is $2.84. So then again, you can see the best buy option is, like the most value for your money comes from buying the 21 kilograms for $59.60. Uh, the next one is about uh, deposit questions. It's similar to best buy, but it, you have to times monthly pay, by payment by the term and, the and add the deposit at the end and then compare it to the normal price, if that makes sense. Um, oh, hopefully the example can make it a bit easier to understand. Um, so a TV set with a cash price of $680 is bought for a deposit of $68 and then 48 monthly payments of $15.68. Find the difference between the cash price and the price paid. So to do this, you need to do the $680 minus the, uh, is the normal. So that's how much the, the TV would cost. But then what's being paid is 48 monthly payments of $15.68 plus the $68 deposit. So you need to make sure you've got all those three there. And then that equals uh, 752.64. And then that plus the 68 deposit is 820.64. So that's the um, amount that's been paid compared to what the normal price is. 
And then to find the difference, it's just $820.64 minus $680, which is the normal price, which is $140.64. Uh, the next part is about uh, tax. So if you ever have a question about finding income tax, there will be an income tax table. Uh, you're not expected to know that, at least in this year level. Um, another thing which could come up is a Medicare levy, which is normally 2% of the taxable income. And then to figure out taxable income, it's the income earned minus the, deduct the deductions. And deductions are things such as union, union fees, uh, charity payments, or work-related expenses. So the example here is about Marianne who was paid an annual salary of $53,350. Uh, during the year, her employer paid income installments on her behalf of $12,732. So firstly, what is Marianne's taxable income? So we figure out how much she was paid for the year, which was $53,350, minus her deductions, $1,340, which equals $52,010. B is how much income tax should she pay for the year? So you can use the income tax table, and as she's earned 53350 she falls into the bracket of $37,001 to $90,000. So therefore, her tax on that income is $3,572 plus 32.5 cents for each dollar over 37000 So then we get 3572 plus uh, two brackets, 52,010 minus uh, 37,000 bracket, and then that times 0 0.325 bracket. Uh, that might be a bit complicated. It's probably an easy way, but that's just how I always do it. Um, but yeah, whatever works as long as you get in the right answer. And the right answer there is $8,450.25. So next we've got percentages. Um, and this is mainly talking about uh, GST. So it's quite simple. If you need to increase a price by adding GST, all you need to do is find 10% of that original price and then add that 10% onto the original price and you'll find the GST inclusive price. If you need to take away GST from a price, so the GST inclusive price is $70. What was the original or GST exclusive price? So the $70 there is 110% of the normal price as 10% has been added onto the original price. So then you can use the unitary method to find 1%, which is 70 over 110. And then if you times that by 100, it's 70 over 110 times 100. I actually forgotten to put the calculation there. So I've quickly used it, uh, done it. Uh, and that answer is $63.636363 and that's repeated. Um, the next point is about simple interest. So the formula here is I equals PRN. And the I there stands for interest. P is principal, which is the amount of money, which is uh, the original purchase. Uh, R is the rate as a decimal. And N equals time. I'm not sure how, but that equals time. And what you need to make sure is that the rate as a decimal is in the same time frame as the uh, N, the time. So, for example, if you've got something that's talking about um, paying back 8.5% uh, per year, but then it's monthly repayments, you need to convert that to the same um, to the same unit of time. So you can either change it to uh, both of them to one year or both of them to one month. Um, and for an example about um, simple interest, there's a boat which is priced at $17,300 uh, and it was bought by paying 15% deposit with the balance being paid off over three years at 8.5% per annum uh, and the interest is being paid by fortnightly repayments. So there's five parts to this question. Uh, firstly, find the amount of the deposit, uh, and that's simply 17,300 times 0 0.15, and that is 2,595. Next, you have to find the balance owing after the deposit was paid. So here, you just use the 17,300 again and use the answer to the question before, uh, as that is the uh, deposit which has been taken away now. So the remaining owed is 14705 Now for C, it's uh, calculating the amount of interest which is charged. So then I equals PRN. We can see that I, the interest charged, equals 14705 times 0 0.085 times 3. Uh, and that equals $3,749.78. Uh, D is about finding the amount of each repayment. So here it's 14705 because that's the amount of uh, money that's left over after the deposit's been taken out, times the interest which has been charged, uh, plus the interest which has been charged, which is uh, $18,454, I think. 
Uh, I could be wrong, Jeremy's written that part and he's, I've said it before, his handwriting literally looks like a three-year-old's written it. Uh, and then that number is divided by 78, which gives you $236.60 per fortnight. Uh, the final question is find the total amount paid for the boat. And here you just need to add the, uh, add the interest paid plus the original price of the boat. So it's $3,749.78 plus 17300 and you get your final answer of $21,049.80. Um, that's all. I realize it's not really much of a shorter video, but it's I think it's a quarter of Jeremy's at the moment. So it is still reasonably shorter. Um, there will be quite a few more maths videos coming out in the next few hours and tomorrow. So yeah, keep your eye out for that. Hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, the best way to get better at this sort of stuff is to keep doing it. So I recommend just keep answering questions and keep getting better at uh, what you're doing. Eventually just become mind, memory, and you'll be able to do it without thinking. So yeah, um, hopefully you've enjoyed, found it a bit more engaging, and uh, look out for the next videos coming up soon. Thank you.